Hello, everybody, and welcome to 10 Minute Tuesdays with Mousebound Vacations. I'm Jim. I'm Owen. And we are here tonight. Don't tell Melissa, but this is a competition. And we are trying to get more viewers. We're trying to get more comments. We're trying to get more interaction from you, the people watching tonight, and the people that watch this in the future, than what she gets when she does her 10 Minute Tuesdays. So please, whatever you do, work with me. Talk to me. Let's have some conversations. So tonight, we are, am I supposed to stop? So there's a question as to whether or not we are live right now. Uh, my, my IT guy here, Owen, is doing his job, trying to get everything going. And looks like now we're live on Facebook. I, I'm not sure that we were before. So again, welcome to 10 Minute Tuesdays. I'm Jim. I'm Owen. And we're here tonight. Uh, it's two days before Thanksgiving. We're here to talk about Disney. So it's time for one of my favorite subjects, and that's food. We all like our food. Who doesn't like food? So the topic for tonight's 10 Minute Tuesday is specifically going to be uh, in regards to some fast, uh, some counter service, quick service meals that you can get at any of the Disney parks. Uh, there are so many options. In fact, I, I put the list out on uh, the Disney My Experience app. It came up with something like 156 options across the four parks. Way too many for somebody to sift through, especially if you're not real familiar with Disney World and it's not something you do all the time. So we narrowed it down. We tried to give you our top choices from each park. So what I'd like to do is just go over some of those choices right now. Uh, tell you a little bit about each one that, and why they are some of our top choices. Um, start off with Magic Kingdom. At Mag Magic Kingdom, I, one of my family's favorite to go to is actually the Columbia Harbor House. Uh, now, they have your normal, your burgers, uh, chicken sandwiches, salads, that type of thing. Uh, but they also have fish and chips, a little bit different flavor. Uh, you know, a, a lot of the quick service restaurants around Disney, just about anywhere you go, they're going to have burgers. They're, they're going to have grilled chicken sandwiches, uh, a lot of standard stuff. But what I try to do is give you some options here tonight that are specifically more unusual, things that you're not going to get every place. And again, the fish and chips at Columbia Harbor House is really good. But probably most critically, and especially if you're going there during the hot summer months, they have the best ice water. Uh, too many places around Disney World, when you ask for water there, you're going to get what tastes like Orlando water. It, it's salty water. Really easily leaves a bad taste in your mouth if you're not used to it. But the water at Columbia House, uh, Columbia Harbor House, is fantastic. Another one of our favorites at, at Disney World is the uh, Pinocchio Village. Um, and I just, just lost the Pinocchio official Pinocchio Restaurant. The Pinocchio <laughs> Restaurant, yes. Uh, and the food there is good. They, they have pizza, which Owen likes. Uh, a lot of different things. But the two things that make the Pinocchio Restaurant specifically fun for us, one... They have people there to help you find a seat. Uh, too many of the restaurants around Disney World, you have to find your seat. You've got to stake one out and, and wait for your family, and it gets all convoluted. There, you get your food. They find a seat for you. You don't have to do any work for that. And also, there is a very special spot in the Pinocchio restaurant. that If you sit in the right place at the right time, you actually get to look over It's a Small World, and while you're eating your meal, you get to see other people by the music. Yeah, it's okay. It's soundproof glass. You don't have to hear the music. So everybody who values their sanity, it's okay to sit there. Now, uh, I come I mean, from Chicago. I'm a big fan of hot dogs. Um, and while they are not Chicago-style hot dogs, one of my personal favorite restaurants, uh, as far as the quick items, um, at Disney World is Casey's Corner. That's Long Main Street. You get a great view of the castle there. Ginormous hot dogs. Really tasty. Really good quality. It's they're, that big. They're larger than a foot long. Yes, they are. Uh, really good hot dogs there. But for a family of five with three teenagers, it took two hot dogs to feed us all. Yeah, that, that's a lot of hot dogs there. Now, one thing that I do want to actually give you a little bit of caution on, when you are looking for a quick service restaurant uh, at Magic Kingdom, there is one that is really popular and it is really neat to look at. It is Be Our Guest. Um, 
Well, quick service. Mm. Well, for lunch they have quick service. True. And, and to what, some extent. Yeah, it's it's what we call or what they call quick service. It's not really all that quick. And I'm going to be honest with you: if you have picky eaters, be our guest is maybe not the best restaurant. The the food there, you know, it's got it's going with the French theme, and things are a little bit hoity-toity. Um, and yes, there are some things. I don't like the real French cuisine, so to speak. Uh, I am able to find things there that I like. But if you do have picky eaters, it can be a little bit tricky to eat there. So anyway, uh, limited time here with our 10-minute Tuesday. So we're going to move on to Epcot. So Epcot, Owen, talk about your favorite restaurant. Okay, so my favorite place to get food, not necessarily a restaurant, is All Around World Showcase. There's lots of little kiosks and just random areas where you can experience tasty food from all over the world, unlike Be Our Guest, which is just food from around the world, from France at least. And I also like in Mexico, there's a La Cantina de San Angel menu. The can it's a Mexican can restaurant in I can't Africa. pronounce anything <laughs> in Spanish. La Cantina. Um, yeah. Let's just go with that. So basically, it's just Spanish food. American Spanish food, not Spanish Spanish food. Now, the important thing about La Cantina at Epcot, uh, if you do go there, and again, we tend to go there in June and July, the really warm months, there is a room off to the side that's meant to be a sit-down restaurant, but it is open during uh, the, the daytime before dinner hours. So that if you do get your quick service food at the counter, you can go inside, sit in the air conditioning. It's a very nice environment. And they have decent water, which is necessary. Yes. And another spot at Epcot, which isn't in the World Showcase like all the other ones, is Electric Umbrella. It's kind of in Epcot's main area, kind of their plaza. Pretty much in the center of everything. With, um, mouse jump, not... Mouse gears. Um, it's just in the center of everything. Um, it's pretty. It has pretty good variety. I mean, it's still cookie cutter booger burgers. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll get <give> comments. <laughs> cookie cutter burgers and fries, but they have more variety of burgers and fries, and their boogers are pretty tasty too. <laughs> They do have a salsa sandwich there that I'm actually a pretty big fan of. It's a little bit spicy, so if spicy is not your thing, maybe not for you. Uh, but I, I do like a little bit more flavor on mine. One of the other really nice things about the electric umbrella is that they have, it's one of the few um, counter service places at Disney that has the open serve soda fountains. So that you can go back and get your refill and make whatever kind of soda you want. Most of the quick service, they will refill it for you if you go up to the counter. But sometimes that can be a, a five, ten minute wait. So uh, it's often much better to go ahead and go to Electric Umbrella where you can go ahead and fill it yourself. It doesn't have very many outstanding food places, but it's all it's all around tasty. So that's pretty much all of it for Epcot. Yes. Epcot. Next is Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. Let's go there. So one of my family's favorites, and it's funny because generally at home, if I ask my members of my family to go to a barbecue restaurant with me, they, they generally don't like to. Uh, but at Animal Kingdom, they all rave, and they love to go to Flame Tree Barbecue. Uh, I will tell you, it, it, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to say this, when you're talking about cost versus quality and quantity of food, I, I think it may be the best all-around value in all the Disney parks for all the counter service. Um, kids may not care as far as the price goes, I do, and that is a place that I have a hard time eating one of their meals all by myself. They give you a lot of sides. Uh, their cornbread is fantastic. Uh, really good coleslaw. I even like their baked beans, and I'm not a baked bean kind of guy. Um, so yeah, Flame Tree Barbecue is really nice. And Yak and Yeti, uh, they are famous. Uh, the Yak and Yeti has two different uh, it's kind of compartmentalized. There is both a sit-down restaurant and a quick service kiosk. Uh, you can go to the quick service the fried rice there is also, as far as Disney World goes, one of the best quality slash quantity slash taste for the money. Um, but it's still expensive. 
compared to everyday standards. Yes. But, you know, it's Disney World. What are we expecting? <laughs> and then I, another quick service that I want to mention from Animal Kingdom, but it's one that I don't have any experience with, but I can tell you about, is at Pandora, the, the new area of Avatar that they opened up this summer. Um, there is a restaurant there, a, a quick service restaurant that you can go, uh, you can pick some things from. I will tell you that they tried to make it otherworldly, and they're, I, I couldn't even tell you what kind of food it is because I only saw pictures of it and the names of it, and the names of it didn't mean anything to me because I'm not an expert on Pandora and Avatar. So um, if you're adventurous, you want to try something different, something you can try. I just couldn't tell you anything about it myself. No. So, uh, and finally, uh, we'll go to Hollywood Studios. Uh, strangely enough, so Hollywood Studios, there are a few different quick service options in Hollywood Studios, but there's really only one that we go to time after time after time, because frankly, it meets all of our needs. It uh, also has that... Uh, the soda fountain um, that, that you can go up to yourself uh, so you can refill your own sodas, refill your own water bottles as you need to. Uh, and, and the food, it's its kind of your standard fare, your salads, your hot dogs, your burgers. Um, and your burgers. <laughs> uh, so nothing, uh, chicken nuggets over there. Uh, I know, popular with my kids. It's your normal stuff. Uh, nothing unusual, unusual as far as the meal goes. However... The best part? What's the best part? Oh, yeah, it's the cupcakes. Oh, oh the cupcakes. They are... Mm, I hate sweets normally, but those cupcakes. And it's the double... Actually, I think it's triple chocolate cupcake with Darth Vader on it. And you, it's Darth Vader. It's that little kind of chocolate cutout uh, mold that they have. Uh, that is the best part. you got to go for the cupcake there. And it's totally healthy. Sure. We'll go with that. So I think we are just about out of time here. Oh, actually, we're over time. I apologize. We're turning it into 12-minute Tuesdays. Uh, so that is all the time we have tonight. I appreciate everybody watching. Love to hear your comments, any kind of feedback you have for us. I know we've been having some troubles getting uh, Owen heard in these uh, sessions. We tried to get him a little bit louder today. So if uh, anybody has any feedback on that, let us know. Uh, you have the number at the bottom of the screen, 877 great trips Go ahead and give us a call. We'll be happy to help you plan your Disney vacation. In the meantime, everybody have a great Thanksgiving, a great holiday week. Take care, everybody. All right.